Hey, wow, wow, wow. For real, that's how I feel. Oh my God, do y'all see that? So pretty. It looks like I wet it or it's like a pigment. Yes, Mark Jacobs. Hi everybody, it's your girl Kasura K and I'm here with another video for you all. So today I have a really, really cute palette that I'm going to be doing a demo with. And it happens to be the Marc Jacobs Iconic Palette. They actually came out with six new palettes in a collection called Iconic. And this particular palette is called Editorial. This is the palette. So I'm going to be using this to complete this eye look that I have on my eyes right now. And these are the seven colors that come in the palette. You wanna see swatches. These are all of the colors, all seven. And they come off so pigmented, like look, look at this. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and also hit that bell just so you can be notified when I post new videos. If you like eye demos, give me a thumbs up. And if you like transitioning eye looks from day to night, then give me a thumbs up as well and I'll keep these videos coming for you. So without further ado, let's get into this palette. Hey guys! So I'm back with another video. We're gonna start with the palette and this is it. Right here. And it has some really pretty green shades. Yes! So now we're gonna go in with my concealer and I'm using my NYX Full Coverage Concealer and it is in the color Fair, so it's really light and it makes the colors pop a little bit more so I'm taking my brush, it's a double-sided brush so you can use this side for your lid and this side for the crease. Um, it's by Anastasia Beverly Hills, it came with one of my palettes. Um, yeah, so we're gonna go in now with the shadow primer. So I'm going to go in on my lid with that primer. As you can see, it's very light. So it's definitely going to make those colors pop, like I said, and look so pretty. I can't wait to put it on top. So now I'm going to go in on my other eye. And do the same thing. And to try to avoid, I have lash extensions, so I try to avoid getting them on my lash extensions. Like if the color falls, I just go in afterwards and just wipe it off. And since my lashes are so long, they curl upward, so it's really hard to see, but still, it just bothers me sometimes <laughs> when I do that. So that's the primer that we're using, well, the concealer that we're using as a base eyeshadow base base primer same thing so now I'm gonna go in with that same brush and I'm gonna go in with this really pretty green color I bet y'all knew I was going for that color right because it's so pretty like it's so freaking pretty um, what's the name of that one the name of that one is pleather python so we're just dabbing it in I'm going in with this pretty color pleather python blow a little bit it's kind of like a goldish green and it's definitely falling, so I already know it's gonna fall on my lid, but look, I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna pack. Not rubbing, I'm, not, I'm just gonna pack, not even giving it really much of a chance to fall out, but it is gonna fall, I already know it is, so. It's cool. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty! Wow. Real, that's how I feel. Oh my god, do y'all see that? It's so pretty. It looks like I wet it or it's like a pigment. Like that's how pigmented it is. It looks like a freaking loose pigment. But we're gonna do the other one really fast. So we did both of the lids so now look at that it kind of it kind of falls out because it's so pigmented like a loose pigment like I said so we're gonna blow it and it's back to normal so now we're gonna take this nice neutral brown right here and we're gonna go in the crease area 
here. So we're taking the um, blending brush and blending it out. Yes! Definitely gonna have to conceal here just to um, hide the fallout, but that's fine. I hate fallout, but that's why I do my eyeshadow first, but I did a review on the foundation that I'm wearing now, so you definitely want to check that out also. So that's why I did the foundation first, because I did a foundation video. So we're doing the other side. You can leave it with these just these two colors but I'm gonna be dramatic and go in with a little bit of this green it's like a little dark heel green and we're gonna go in that crease right here on the outer crease with that color oh I like oh, yes. yes Mark Jacobs yes for real. So we're gonna do the other side. Just sweeping it like this. All right, and if you wanna add a little bit of shimmer, you could go in with that black. They have a black color that's right here on the very end. <laughs> Blow off my brush and add a little bit of that to the crease right here. Just kind of showing you all how the colors look. So that's basically taking that look from a daytime look to a nighttime look, adding all the darker colors in the outer crease. You could stop, like I said, at the first two colors and you know add a little liner and be good to go for the daytime. And if you want to jazz it up for the nighttime, make it a little more dramatic, that's when you go in and start adding all the darker colors. But see that? Going in that crease, oh yummy, it looks so good. Y'all just don't know, like, I'm just like tingling inside, like it's so pretty to me. So freaking pretty. All right, so now all you have to do is clean it up. But if you want it to add a little bit of shimmer right here in the inner tear duct, they have another light shimmery color and it is called Next Season. And I'm gonna take a tab bit of that and just dab it right here in my inner tear duct. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. So I first started off with Pleather Python here on the lid. Then I continued by going in with Will C, which is a nice pretty brown color. Then I take it to a night look. So this is going, so these two colors are basically gonna be your day look if you wanna just keep it nice and natural with a pop of color. And if you wanna jazz it up for a night event or a more dramatic look, I went in with this Enviously color, which is a nice teal, dark teal color. Then after that, I went in with a nice black. And this black has really pretty gold specks in it. It's called Everywhere. After that, I went in my inner tear duct with Next Season. And that basically gave me that nice little pop of shimmer right here in the inner tear duct. And I added my black eyeliner and cleaned it up a little bit with some concealer. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of Envious and Everywhere. And I'm going to take that under my lower lash line just to finish off the look. And this is the only extra brush that I'm using just to get right underneath that line. Very pigmented, like so smooth. If you want it a little more dramatic, that's gonna finish off the look. I look. So hopefully you all enjoy this tutorial. This is a really quick eye demo. I really wanted to show you how easy it is to go from a day to night look with one palette using 
one brush, even though it was a double-sided brush, you can do a lot with the double-sided brush. It's so convenient, so easy to use. All you have to do is just dust it off a little bit and when you're applying another color and you're good to go. It shouldn't be hard for you to find a double-sided brush or a, just a regular fluffy brush and a flat brush because that's all I use with this palette. I would like to thank Influencer for sending me this palette to review. I definitely enjoyed myself creating this look. I give this palette definitely an A. Um, it did have a little bit of fallout, but that still does not beat the color payoff that I got. It literally took me about five or six minutes to complete this eye look. And all I got was a little bit of fallout from the shimmery color, which is more like a pigment, like a pressed pigment almost. And that was it. Everything that was stated in this video is my honest opinion. And I definitely wouldn't steer you wrong. If you would like to try the palette, I would definitely head on over to your nearest store that sells the Marc Jacobs products. I would definitely try it out and swatch it like I did. Hopefully you all enjoyed this video. Hopefully it was quick and easy for you. Um, if you all have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and enter the giveaways here on my channel. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye. Hit the beach, okay? So I'm gonna put it around my neck, you know, feeling like flavor life. Ooh.